So good to be back with you. Oh my Lord, just pray this would work for me today. Oh Lord. <laughs> Tonight's message is entitled Celebrating Accomplishments. So in Romans chapter 12, specifically verse 15, we get a command from God and it says simply, rejoice with those who rejoice. The Good News Bible actually transla translates it like this. Be happy with those who are happy. You say, what does it mean to be happy? When someone is happy, it means that they're filled with, they're filled with excitement, they're filled with joy, they're filled with such anticipation over something that's taking place in their lives. And so I was thinking, Hmm. This is the perfect time to talk about this tonight because that's basically what we're here for. We're all here because we're excited about what God is doing in each other's lives and in the lives of our fellow artists. But just in case you need a little bit more detail, I went and found Barnes commentary to see what it says about this command, rejoice with those who rejoice. It's actually taken from a doctrine out of Romans 12, verses 4 through 5. It specifically says, the church is one, has one interest, and that therefore there should be common sympathy between its joys and its sorrows. So let me ask one thing. When was the last time you were excited for somebody else's big moment other than your own? To see, it's, it's one thing when, when you're the star. It's one thing when you're the person whose face is attached to the flyer that's going around the circle of social media for weeks and weeks and weeks saying, oh, this person's performing here, come support. It's another thing entirely when you're not on the flyer, when you're not in the spotlight, but yet you have enough humility and wisdom to realize what somebody else's vision is, and that if you support them, it helps them advance the cause of Christ, and it also could lead you to your opportunity. You never know. Appreciate my guy recording. It's going me back up a lot. Um, let me ask you another question. Do you believe the church is one? We are one. Good. Then if the church is one, then I personally believe that we need to start making intentionality to go insane with supporting each other. The reason why I say that is because I went and looked up a story about two women who went buck wild crazy for each other when they were in the same situation, but just different phases of it. Two women I'm thinking of are Mary and Elizabeth. Y'all know the story, right? From Luke chapter one. Mary was handpicked by God to be in the spotlight because she was going to give birth to Jesus Christ. Elizabeth wasn't in the spotlight. She was in the background giving birth to John the Baptist. But Mary didn't care. Mary wasn't jealous of Elizabeth being further along in her pregnancy than she was. No, she decided to go to her house anyway. And so when she got there and the two women embraced and hugged each other, when their bellies touched, John the Baptist instantly knew that he was in the presence of Jesus Christ. And so he leapt in his mother's womb. And at that point, the two women just broke out into crazy, insane praise because they knew that God was up to something even though they couldn't see it. And so that's what we're here to do. We need to realize that it doesn't matter who's in the spotlight. 
It doesn't matter even if you play the background. What matters is that you have a chance to show off who God is, what he can do, and impact someone's life for the glory of God. You never know who is in your midst. So as I close, I just want to encourage everybody that when you support other people, other people will support you. But not only that, when you support your brothers and sisters in Christ and you go crazy for them, that lets them know I'm in your corner. Yeah. I've got you. I'm going to do whatever it takes right. to support you and to help you out. Because the God you serve is the same God I serve. And I know that he's going to do something yes. amazing. That's why we're all here. I love the fact that Charmaine is on this flyer. I've been talking about her for weeks and weeks and weeks. Amen. Because she is in a unique position tonight. God is about to take her to the next level. She's about to step into her elevation moment. And so I came to tell all of you and to tell her that when you get up here, I want you to kill it for Jesus. Because you can be positioned as the person to lead the next generation of incoming worshipers. This is the end game, everybody. Mm. This is the end game. See, see, see. Some people just have a tendency to be haters. But see, what you don't realize about being a hater is that competition can derail your purpose. Don't be a hater. Be a celebrator. Some people hate, but not us. Whatever it takes, right? Whatever it takes. It's time to celebrate. The moment has come. Our feature artist is on her way, and we need to go buck wild crazy because if he did it before, He'll do it again. Same God right now. Same God back then. Rejoice with those who rejoice. God bless.